will be collected by the tractor and the tractor driver is going to provide you with all the collection times. Hi and welcome to my page. My name is Tsugi Jigonga and today's video is going to be a vlog about my French look experience. Just a little disclaimer, most of the content is vertical. You know, hopefully it's still going to be as good. I'm going to try and put it together and make it aesthetically pleasing, but it is going to be mostly 90% vertical videos. So just push through with me. You can do this. You got this. You got this. So Farm Strip is like a wine town. The tram is basically one way of going through and visiting most of the farms, you know, and just having an experience of the different farms. You just like getting to check it out to see like what's the vibes about. If you're into wine tasting, get into that. Some of them offer like wine pairing, some of them offer um, kids activities. It also depends on the route that you take. So we chose to take the pink line because and the pink line takes you through eight different um, estates and you can choose to either start on the bus or start on the tram and we chose to start on the bus our first stop was leopard's leap they offer wine tasting i honestly forgot the types of wines that they offer but this stop wasn't for wine tasting we decided to have breakfast here and I had a salmon, smoked salmon tracker. Yo, yo, you know what? We basically did just 30 minutes here. So the concept of the wine tram experience is a hop on hop off situation. So you can spend 30 minutes to an hour in a space. You can obviously choose to spend the whole day, but then you won't be able to visit the other, the other farms. So we chose to do 30 minutes. So we basically just ate breakfast and moved on to the next. Our next stop was Chamonix. We didn't go out, we really just stopped at the restaurant because we chose this is where we were gonna do our wine and chocolate pairing. And so that's what we did. And here we also only decided to do this in 30 minutes so we can catch the next bus. The next stop was Dio. Yo! Okay, I got it. It was Dio Donne. And yo, guys, when we arrived, you know, you don't realize what it's gonna be, but like as you enter, and then it's just like you walk in and then you're just met with this most immaculate, beautiful, like, view you've ever seen. Like, it was honestly the biggest, best surprise. We got our complimentary wine and we also got our wine tasting menu. And they also offered uh, wine and chocolate pairing, so I chose to do that. This was just really nice. The wine was delicious, the chocolate was immaculate. I 10 out of 10 recommend this place. Uh, we decided to start buying like wine and stuff, so we missed the, the bus that showed up in an hour, so we ended up spending an hour and 30 minutes. So in the extra 30 minutes that we got, we decided to just like roam around, check out the space, check out the spots, and let me tell you, it did not disappoint. Like, it was just, it just kept getting better and better and better. Okay, 
gotta go. You gotta go. You gotta go. Okay, then the bus came. This time we made it. We made it on time into the bus and we went off. We went back to the terminal and then decided to go to the last two stops because they told us that those wine trams they close earlier so we might as well do those first and then so we quickly changed our line and we joined the gray line just so we could visit those two spots so then we got on another bus and then we were on our way just moving and then our next stop was hmm how to my high school French teachers will probably be livid at these pronunciations, but it's been years and I just haven't spoken French in so long. So, Haute Cabriere was the next spot, and it did not be something. We got there, we got to play around. We played around, ran around on the grass because the theme was fun. So, uh, my brother and I really decided to just like go out there and just like, you know, have live it out, live, live it out, and have fun, and just like where. After that, we decided to go in and just do like a quick wine tasting, um, you know, and I think I had a dessert wine, some white wine and some sparkling wine. Yeah. So I had three, three tasting options. So they have this underground wine cellar. And we didn't get a chance to go down and do that. Fortunately, when we managed to get a table, we could, you know, like see the, 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 the bottom wine cellar. So that was pretty trippy. Then we did, I think here we did 30 minutes as well. And then we were up and then off onto the bus. And then we went into our next uh, location, which was Klein <laughs> Hooders. Can kind of pronounce some of these Afrikaans things. I really, I really hope I'm getting them. I'm not butchering them. Hey, 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 hey. Anyway, who the rest? We got here and it was around about just after lunch or like around lunchtime. So we decided to let's find a spot to eat. We got there. So on the 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 things that they offer, it did say that they would have a spit rye. But when we got there, the, the spit rye was lamb and I don't eat lamb. So that was a bit of a bummer. But um, it's not good, so I think it was really good. So, like if you're really into lamb and like spit rye vibes, this was the, the spot for you. So here we just chose to have drinks and then we just did a quick 30 minutes. And we went back to the terminal and then it was time for the tram, guys, guys. Guys, look at the tram on its way. This is why we came. This is what we wanted to see. You know, I watched so many other videos and I would just see people going on the tram and I was like, man, one day it's gonna be me. And today was the day we went on, we enjoyed it. Our first stop was Grande Provence. Grande Provence. I think this is the, the cream of the crop. This is why where most people go when they do the tram experience. This is what they look forward to because it has I think two or three restaurants there. It's got an art gallery. It's just beautiful. There's just sculptures everywhere. There's just this beautiful artsy, welcoming vibe that you have. You could literally spend an entire day at Grand Provence and you would definitely be satisfied with all the activities that they offer and just relax and have just fun. We did an hour at Grand Provence and you have to do an hour because you go on the tra tractor. So you're gonna go on a tractor, tractor, tractor. You're gonna go on a tractor and then that takes like a, a chunk of your time to, to get to there and then you also need to go on the tractor to go back to the tram. So that's why you really just, you just got to commit to doing an hour because there's just no time to do 30 minutes, you know. And so we did that and I spent the majority of the hour just consuming the art, just full up, all up in that art and it just, you guys, it was gorgeous. I was so inspired. I will not take you through all the art and everything because that would just be like another vlog in itself. So the next video is going to be the art vlog. So I will do a separate vlog for Grand Provence and just like the art. Don't worry, it's not going to be long like this one. It's going to be a bit shorter, but it's going to be all about the art, all about the art experience that I had there. And so 
you can look, you know, have something to look forward to. We did that and then we went back on the tractor and then we traveled back to the tram. And <laughs> We are slowly making our way to our second stop, which is Rickety Bridge. We went to Rickety Bridge. Yeah, that was that was nice. So Rickety Bridge also had a tractor. We traveled to the estate and we decided to do this time guys the wine was hitting. We were a little bit tipsy. We were just just a little bit like you know the effects of the tasting and stuff was getting to us so we didn't do that much wine tasting so i chose to just uh, taste the dessert wine i think my brother chose to do a white wine yes he did a white wine and then my mother decided to do a kids tasting so the kids tasting is actually pretty fun it was an iced tea pairing so it had a cheese pairing a biltong pairing and a chocolate pairing that came with that and that was really cool i had a pepperoni pizza and let me tell you let me tell you something about that pepperoni pizza it was so good i don't know if it was the hunger i don't know if it was the wine honestly i will not even disrespect that pizza by making excuses it was good it was a really good pizza just Thin base, right amount of crunch, right amount of cheese, like it was well, everything well seasoned, it was, it was really good. I think top, top five, top three, top three of like the best pizzas that I've ever had. I'm gluten intolerant, so I did eat this pizza with knowing full well the consequence. It's the consequence, it's the consequence. <laughs> the certain, the, 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 oh, what's the actual word now? I forgot. The consequences, oh, wow. The consequences of eating it, and so, you know, it was fine. I just decided, we're, just, we're gonna deal with that later. So at this point, we didn't realize, we didn't know if we would be able to make the last stop or not. But fortunately, the uh, tram conductor was like, there is a spot they can drop us off for 30 minutes at the Fransuk cellar, which is where we went. And we got there just in time because they were closing. So it's actually split into two. There's the platform and the cellar side. The platform is where the tram is, so that side has its own restaurant, and then the cellar has its own like wine tasting area. And so we went to the cellar, obviously, because we came here for the wines, guys. But it's, you gotta know what you came for, you know? That's the other thing. And so we went, we got there. They were actually literally closing, but the, the manager was very, very nice. She managed to get us a table and we decided to have a wine, white wine tasting. Um, it was a, we did a cheese, a white wine and cheese pairing. We have the cellar, my name is Dino, so I'll be doing your cheese and wine pairing. Uh, to get started, we'll identify three primary selections of white wines from left to right. We'll start off with the Chenin, and the Sauvignon, and then also Chardonnay. The wines have been pre-selected from the Franzic cellar range that we also call the Village Walk Series range. This mainly highlights a selection of buildings and landmarks found in the valley that will also make part of your tasting for today. The white wine selection sets you back at 80 rand a bottle and your red wines at 100 rand a bottle. So your to get out well we still had like 15 minutes 10 to 15 minutes to get to the platform side and then when we got out guys yo uh we noticed that there was a, a giant chessboard like a giant chessboard and i was like you know what just a quick game so my brother and i decided to do a quick game chess and it was fun I think we only did it for like five minutes or so. 
go guys then we went back got onto the tram went we got back to the terminal and it was time to go home yo guys knackered knackered as in completely like the fun was was good this is when you know we made the most because we managed to make every single stop and we got to experience every single um, estate which was really really good like if you are pressed for time and you can only do like a like a set like a small set of visits i would definitely recommend the following du donner absolutely worth it grand provence because it's the oldest wine estate one of the oldest ones so you definitely want to get that full experience um france hook cellar definitely up there and how to cut the air guys those four are absolutely put them on the list you go there and you tell them i think Cindy said you should come. I'm joking. You don't need to do all that. They don't even know who I am, guys. The 10 of you that are watching this. Hopefully by now, maybe there's like 14. Huh? I don't know. But we've come to the end of the video, guys. And I honestly hope if you've come all the way to this to this part of the video and you actually watched it, you didn't do the thing, where you skip, 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 or what, what, what. You actually came, you did the full experience, and you were with us. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you think it was helpful in any, any way, guys. If it was funny, it was fun, if it was colorful, if it was something was just hitting, please like, share, share with someone who you think might enjoy this experience. If you think you're gonna do it as well, please share with your, your homies, share it with your bras. Let them know that, guys, this is what we're gonna do next because honestly, you will enjoy it. Bye.